We've been preparing for this uh, event for about the last year. Austin Travis County EMS says that they expect the eclipse to bring somewhere close to a million visitors to the area. Several cities, including Austin, are already under a declaration of emergency to handle the amount of people expected. But ATC EMS and first responders are ready to answer the call. We will have representation in the city and the county's emergency operations center. We will open up our DOC or our department operations center so that we can handle logistical issues in our department to make sure we can meet the needs of the citizens of Austin and Travis County and surrounding areas. ATC EMS says it has also added both 12 and 24 hour additional ambulances, especially on Monday. Travis County ESD2 says it has beefed up its staff, has also added more ambulances and engines, and will be setting up its own internal district operations center to help manage how calls come in. We'll make sure that we get uh, faster turnaround times on incidents so that we can keep more units available. Uh, we'll make sure that the actual closest appropriate unit is responding to the incident. Um, and we're able to manage that internally relatively easily because we understand our own dynamics that we have within our agency. While the volume of calls is expected to be higher, ATC EMS and other first responders say overall the call types should be the same as any other time. Travis County ESD1 says what might throw that off, however, and what may change the types of calls they respond to could be unpredictable traffic. There could be no traffic, there could be a lot of traffic, and that's our biggest concern. A lot of people are unfamiliar with the, the curvy, curvy nature of this road. And so we're a little concerned about uh, new folks in, the, in town on the roads and the amount of traffic that they're gonna be bringing in.